Hello? Hello? Oh. Okay. So, uh, a little late, but, um, had to eat food first. Uh, but, uh, today we're doing test. Hypothesis rising, and then the one after. I think this is the second one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna double check. Um, library. Is... Let's go to the store page. Maybe. Yep. Okay. And then. Green <clears throat> on. Dash. Uh, that should be good now. All right, let's go and find out what our secret word is this time. Last, the last one was uh, power. Yes, it is highly recommended that you have played its prequel, The Test. I did. So, Was going to gain a lot from this experience if you've played the test first, and this experimentation will also... Examination will also make a bit more sense as it carries on from where the exam last examination left off. Okay. I would like to urge you to go and play the test now before venturing forward and follow the instructions listed throughout the game. Is you will certainly get a bigger benefit overall by taking the test in the order that they were meant to be taken in. Uh, I, uh, I've already played the test. Wonderful news. We can continue. Oh, hi, buddy. Hello. And welcome to my office. It's truly a pleasure to see you here today. Please excuse the mess. I haven't had a chance to clean up yet. What were you doing? Your room is all bloody, buddy. <clears throat> no. I don't want to take up too much of your time with blubber blabber. And nuns. Nonsensical speak. So I'll just get straight to the point. Sometimes we have to ask ourselves life's tough questions. There's one question in particular I'd like you to ask yourself Are you happy? And when I say happy, I don't mean content. Being content is great. But it's not the same as being happy. I want to help you. I want to inspire you to be the best that you can be. <clears throat> I want to inspire you to be the happiest version of yourself. I want to see you grow, inside and out. Now, how do we accomplish this, you might be asking. Good question. Allow me to explain. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and you are going to answer them with 100% entire honesty. And when I say 100% entire honesty, I mean 100% entire honesty. Think about it. Do you want to be... You do want to be happy, don't you? 
You wouldn't want to do something so bold as to tempt fate by lying, would you? Just remember, if you lie, the only person you're lying to is yourself. The only person who will suffer from this is you. And believe me, you will suffer. Not to mention the fact that whether you tell the truth or not, I'll know. But that's another story. Let's be moving on, shall we? We've wasted enough time explaining what we're going to be doing. Just remember, we all want to be good people. We all want to give the answers that we feel lend the most desirable human traits within ourselves. But sometimes, good people do bad things. Sometimes, we don't always have desirable traits as humans. I cannot express just how important it is to be truly honest while answering these questions, no matter how uncomfortable the truth may be. That fuck. No matter how uncomfortable the truth may make you. Now, it's time to get into the real meat of this experience. It's time for you to get to the advan- It's time for you to get the advice that you desire. As you're reading these questions and scenarios during this process, I want you to create your own circumstances and build your own bridges to arrive at. Yeah, to build your own bridges to arrive at the answers best suits your psyche. Your own psyche. Ah, I can't read right now. Uh, if you've never experienced the scenario before being... That, that, if you've never experienced the scenario being asked of you, then simply imagine that you have and try to assume how you might feel in that situation. I'd like to invite you to pour a glass of water, sit back, and relax as we unfold your fate and the secrets to overcome the next hurdle in your life. You know what? I'm gonna grab something to drink. Because this might be a while. Okay. Now to put my headphones back on. And get to answering these questions and scenarios. Alright. Okay. We're going to start with some very basic, easy questions. I added very in there because it made more sense in my head. Can you not? If you answer these questions twice, your advice may change, but it's not just about answering the questions. It's about many different variables. Many different factors that are at play here, including the amount of time taken to answer a proposed question. With that being said, it's, fair, it's far more important to actually take your time and think about how honest of an answer you're, be, you're giving before you give it. Whatever you do, do not rush the process. Time is your best friend here. You'll see what I mean soon enough. And here we go. Okay. Uh, do I feel uncomfortable right now? A little bit with the music going on, but, uh, not, not entirely. So, uh, yeah, I guess. 
Are you nervous? No. You feel cold? No. You feel sad? Currently, no? Have you ever hurt someone because you were hurting, even though they didn't deserve it? I'm sure I have. Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Do you crave acceptance by other? Oh, hell yes I do. Have you ever lost a loved one? Yes, uh, I have. Uh, do you know what heartbreak feels like? Yes, I do. Do you believe in demons? No. Mm. Do you believe in curses? No, I don't. Do you consider yourself to be spiritual? No, I do not. Are you afraid of dying alone? Hell yes, I am. Uh, if there was undeniable proof that a ghost was haunting you, would you continue to live in your own home? I mean, yeah. I, I there's honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, have you ever seen an object mysteriously move without being touched? Yes. Uh, do you believe that it's possible for a game to summon supernatural forces in your life without you knowing it? No, I don't. Would you like to make more friends? I mean, I like the amount of friends I have now, but... I, I, I guess, yeah, more would be fun. But at the same time, I think I'm good with how many I have. I'm, I'm gonna say yes, because more friends is always okay. But it's not, like needed uh, do you consider yourself to be a good friend no I don't they ain't said that last time do you feel lonely yeah most of the time but what did that just say uh do you make friends easily no I don't do you avoid drama when possible? Uh, I mean, I haven't had a lot of drama in the past few years, so... If I can avoid it, I guess I do. I mean... Have you ever had a near-death experience? Not that I remember. Do you like horror movies? Yeah, they're hilarious. This is all very interesting. Have you played the test? Yes, I have. That's the spirit. Uh, have you played the horoscope? No. Give it a whack. I'm totally not biased or anything. Okay, I guess I'm gonna look that up later. You watch porn, of course. Would you consider yourself to be a hard worker? I mean, when I'm at work, I guess. Uh... But I definitely like my lazy time. But yeah, I do. Do you have a low opinion of yourself? Of course I do. Will you consider yourself to be a confident person? When I can get out of my own brain, yes. But no, most of the time I'm not. Would you help an old lady across the street if you were running late for an appointment? I mean, if I'm walking somewhere, there's no point in not doing that. So I guess, yeah. Would you kill all of your neighbor's pets just to save your own life? No. Oh, save one of my own. Uh. Mm. I thought that meant your own life. No, just one of my own pets. Ah, oh, God, that's a hard one. Because I, I, I love animals. But my animal is more important than others. But at the same time, I don't think I could. <clears throat> eh. No, no, if, 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 like, I had an animal that was being attacked by another, I, I definitely probably could. I probably would do it without realizing, but, I, yeah, I guess yes. Have you ever tried to smother yourself with a pillow to see if you would actually suffocate yourself? Uh, no. Well, no. Not to see if I could actually suffocate myself, but... 
I th I think I have just fucking around. So so adding the specific specifically the sevkate yourself, no, I haven't. Have you ever been caught dancing when you thought no one was watching? I'm I'm sure I have, but I it it wasn't so traumatic to where I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, I'm 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 going to say yeah, I'm sure I have. Have you ever tried to roll your eyes back so far just to see if they would actually get stuck? Not to see if they would get stuck, uh, but no. Uh, have you ever played a practical joke that you regret pulling on someone? I'm not really a prank person. The only time I've really done that is uh, putting a rubber band around the, the, the little uh, handles on the sink and just spraying people when they turn on the sink. That's about it, but never really regretted those. Are you live streaming right now? Yes, I am. Well, hello there, audience. Well, I guess, yeah. Hello. Uh, are you recording this gameplay session right now? I'm not recording, but I am going to be uh, saving the stream. So I guess no. But yes. Uh, I'm going to say yes just to be on the safe side. If I told you I was watching you play this game right now, would you believe me? Uh, probably. I am live streaming. If you've left a comment for me at any point in time, I've read your words. Does this bother you? No, it doesn't. I mean, that's that's why uh, you leave a comment. If you've left a comment for me, does it make you feel positive that I've paid attention to what you've taken time to write? I mean, I guess. I mean, I'm a little indifferent, but uh, it's definitely more of a positive than negative side. Uh, do you understand that no matter what, I appreciate you? Ah, uh, sh... Well, I did purchase the game, so I'm sure you do, but... Yeah, I guess. I really do. Are you afraid of snakes? No, not really. I don't like them, but... I'm not afraid of them. Do you believe in magic? I wish I could. Have you ever... Have you cried in the last month? I haven't cried in years! No, 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 no. That's a lie. I I cried last year uh, when my dog passed away. Do you have a hero? Uh, now, what do you mean by hero? Like like someone I looked up to? But so yeah, I do. Yes. Okay. I answered my own question. Do you typically learn from your mistakes? I I try to, but I'm sure I don't. On a normal basis? I'm gonna say no. Do I enjoy outdoor activities? Yes, but I'm definitely more of a homebody. Uh, would you consider yourself to be lazy? Yes, I do. Do you sometimes find it difficult to stay motivated? All the time. Uh, do you put the needs of others before yourself? Well, no, not normally. Now, if they're like friends and stuff like that, I, most of the time I try to, but no, I don't. Would your family and friends describe you as kind? No, I'm an asshole, but uh, I'm, I'm sure they would say it, but that's probably just them being nice. So asking that question, yes, they would. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? No, I have not. Have you ever been cheated on in a relationship? Every relationship I've had so far, yes. Would you consider yourself to be judgmental? Yes, I do. I see. Are you a hero to someone else? I don't think I am. I don't I don't know anyone that would see me as a hero, so no. You love animals? Yes, I do. Have you ever found a family member on Tinder and wanted to hit them with a super like just to make shit real awkward? <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, me neither. Uh, do you enjoy drinking alcohol? Not really. I drink maybe like twice a year. Are you intoxicated right now? No, I'm not. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> you shit. 
do you like the phrase snick a snack? <laughs> yeah, I do. It's fun. Are these questions a bit strange to you? Uh, really? Do you have a vivid imagination? I would say yes, but it's all copying other stuff. Uh, do you feel uncomfortable in large social settings? Of course I fucking do. I hate... Yes, I am antisocial. Uh, do you hold a grudge for a long period of time? Yes, I do. I can hold a grudge with the best of them. Uh, have you ever urinated in public? I mean, I've, I've peed outside before, so yes. Uh, do you like pineapple on your pizza? Yes, I do. I knew I liked you. <laughs> would you consider yourself to be selfish? Yes, I would. Uh, do you, do you think you've got a big ego? No, I don't. Do you consider yourself to be kinky? Yes, I do. Have you ever masturbated into a fishbowl? What the fuck kind of question is that? No. Well, then you can't be that kinky. Well, fuck you! God damn it. Do you consider yourself to be religious? No, I don't. Uh, do you consider yourself to be temperamental? Yes, I do. You had to kill someone to save your own life, but you knew they didn't deserve it. Would you do it? I don't think I would. Honestly. But I won't know until that situation rises, so for now, no. Interesting. Would you sacrifice your own life for a complete stranger? And... I... I think I would, but I'm not sure. So for now, yes. Even more interesting. Uh, have you ever been inside of a burning building? No, I have not. Uh, have you ever been to a funeral? Yes, I have. If you could attend your own funeral before you died, would you take the opportunity to do so? I think, yeah. I, th I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh... If you could see into the future, but you were told that it would only reveal the absolute worst of what's in store for you, would you still look? Honestly, yeah. Knowing what hardships I'm going to face ahead of time would be fucking helpful. If you had the power to stop time and use it to do something you know you shouldn't do, would I use it? No. I'm sure I would think about it. But I don't... I, I can't make myself do bad things like that. I can't. So, no. If you had the power to remove one person from Earth, never to return again, would you use it? Hmm... I don't think so, honestly. Because, why do that when I can just ignore them forever? Yeah, so no. If I told you that I understand you better than you understand yourself, would you believe me? A lot of people understand me better than I know myself. If someone's threatened to kill you, would your first response to be uh, react in violence? Probably, yeah. If a stranger stole money from you to support their drug addiction, would you forgive them if they apologized to you? I mean... I don't think so, no. But they're a stranger. They don't need my... Uh, uh, forgiveness. They, we don't know each other. If a family member said something nasty about you behind your back, would you confront them about it directly? No, I wouldn't.
If you had to eat raw squirrel brains for three days to stay alive, would you do it? I'm sure I would have... I, I would. But I would fucking hate every second of it. So, yeah. If you woke up tomorrow and none of your family remembered who you were, would you choose to leave and start a new life? Um, I don't know. I don't think so, because I wouldn't forget them. And to be honest, only one family member I really care about. So, I mean, no. Uh, no. If a homeland, homeless man was clearly sick, freezing, and utterly miserable in the rain, would you be willing to give him your clothes and walk home naked? I would like to say yes, but I'm sure the answer is probably actually no. Because it really, for me, kind of depends on how far away from home I am. So, thinking, like, across town, probably not. But if I'm only, like, two blocks away, I might. Uh, but no. No, I probably wouldn't. If someone accidentally hit you with a, their car, but you suffered no injuries whatsoever, would you still be upset with them? I mean, I'd probably be very uh, upset at, in the moment and try and calm down quickly. But, yeah, I probably would still be upset with them. Have you looked for any hidden meanings or messages within these questions? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm just kind of uh, enjoying the ride. Maybe you should have been. Oh, fuck you. I'm wondering if there's a deeper meaning to all this other than just simply answering question after question. Well, I know there's a deeper meaning. So, well, no. I'm, I'm getting what the game uh, has a idea for me. There's no deeper meaning for me. Miracles happen every day. Do you agree? I mean, they kind of do. Uh, impossible things tend to happen every day, just not for everybody. So, yeah. <sighs> Umbrellas aren't worth it around, uh, and you don't mind getting rained on. Do you agree? Yeah, I, I love, I love rain. Red is a prettier color than pink. Do you agree? No. Pink is prettier, but red can look better. There's there's a difference. So, no, red is not prettier than pink. Do you ever feel like a plastic da bag blowing in the wind? Ah, uh, duh. Just kind of being dragged along in life? I mean, kind of. Getting in front of people can be awkward. Do you agree? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Rings used in ceremonial wedding gifts are so outdated. Do you agree? No, I think I think it's a really nice sentiment. Did you realize the first six letters of the last six questions when combined spells out the word murder? Uh, no, I didn't realize that. Do you know why that is? Uh, no. Does that make you slightly uncomfortable? Not really. Are you going to pay, start paying closer attention to what you may have gotten yourself into? Probably not. Do you realize it's too late to turn back now? Uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, it is too late. I'm here. Okay. Creepy. Do you hear someone in your room? Uh, yeah, my dad's behind me. Uh, did you see the shadows closing in? No. Do you feel like you're being watched? I mean, I am live streaming and my dad's behind me, so I guess, but... Did you look around your room a moment ago? To look at my dad, but that's about it. 
do you feel like long legs? Oh, do you like long walks on a beach? I have never done it, but I'm sure it'd be actually really calming. So I'm going to say yes. Do you enjoy giving gifts to people? Yes, I do when I can afford it. Uh, do you ever feel... Have you ever felt like giving up on life all the time? Do you love your family more than you love yourself? Uh, certain members, yeah. Do you have a best friend who's clearly better than the rest of your friends? Clearly better? No. Because all my friends are really close. Uh, well, at least the ones I choose to be around. Or, or, I, I, I trust them all pretty much the same, so... Uh, no, there is not a fr best friend who is clearly better than the rest. Now, I do have a best friend, mainly for, like, length of time-wise, but that's about it. Do you think there's some kind of spirit conspiracy behind coronavirus? No, I just think people are dumb. Do you believe that you're a human? Uh, yeah. No, I... <clears throat> I accidentally hit the arrow key. Uh, and it said no. Ah, I'm upset. Uh, if you could turn invisible, but you would never be visible ever again, once you decide to use your own p your power for the first time, would you ever use it? No, I don't think I would. If you knew someone was about to rob a convenience store, but you knew that they were doing it to feed their family, would you stop them? I mean... That's the business is protected, but it's still fucked. I don't think I would. I really don't think I would. If you were stranded on a remote island with a stranger and you were both starving to death, but you found a secret stash of food they didn't know about, would you share it with them? Yeah, I think I would. I mean, me and them are working together, I'm hoping on this, so. If not, then that's just dumb. You could turn into an eagle for one year, but wouldn't be able to turn back until one year had passed. Would you do it? No, I don't like heights. You had the opportunity to earn riches beyond your wildest dreams by fighting a grizzly bear to the death using nothing but a machete and an army helmet. Would you do it? No, because I don't want to kill. That's, that's pretty much it, and I don't want to die. To be fair. If you had to pick one basic food item to eat exclusively for an entire year, would you choose potatoes? They are the smartest option, to be fair, so yes. If pizza screamed in agony every time you took a bite, you, you bit into a piece, would you still continue to eat pizza? Yes, because I am sadistic and I love pizza. If your best friend got bit in the genitals by a highly venomous snake, and the only way to save their life was to suck the venom out of their genitals, would you do it to save them? What the fuck? It's... It's their life. It's, but that's not how venom works. It's not. You need anti-venom to do it. Um... But if that was the only way, I guess so. Fuck. Why? Was that a difficult one to answer? Yes, it was. Do you feel mortal? Yes. Uh, do you enjoy loud music? Yes, I do. Do you feel awkward if you dance in front of others? Yes, I do. Do you suffer from an anxiety disorder? I'm sure I do. Uh, do you ever feel depressed? Yes. You're not alone. Uh, do you feel relaxed? Kind of. Uh, do you think you have a guardian angel watching over you? No. I would have to believe in angels for that. Have you ever heard your name being called when no one could have called it? Yes, I have. I'm going to take special note of that one. Um, Do you look both ways before crossing the road? Yes, I do. Because you should always do that. Do you wash your hands every day? Yes, I do. I'm a cook. I kind of have to. Do you ever feel uncomfortable using public restrooms? Yes. A lot of the time. Is winter your favorite season? 
I think spring is. But winter is also a really good one. You know what? No, because I have a lot of car trouble in the winter, so spring is definitely my favorite season. Do you know anyone named Josh? Yes, I do. Are you wondering what that last question was? Is why that last question is relevant? No, I have. I I'm just answering questions mindlessly. Uh, are you allergic to any animals? No, I'm not. I'm not allergic to pretty much anything. Have you ever thought about an animal in a sexual way? No. Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have. Uh, do you consider yourself to be an art, art, to be artistic? Yes, I do. But I'm not good at it. Will you consider to be uh, dominant in day-to-day -day life? I don't know what that means, but <sighs> I don't. I don't know what you mean by dominant. I. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like you've got too much time on your hands? Uh, well, yes and no. Yes, I'm, I waste the days away. So yes, yes, I do have too much time on my hands. Can you be easily intimidated by others? I Yeah, I can. Easily excitable. Yes, I am, but I try to hide it. Do you enjoy solving complex problems? To a point. If if I'm if I stop making progress, then I stop enjoying it. But as long as I'm making a little bit of progress every time, I enjoy it. So yes. Do you have a difficult time relaxing? Yes, I do. Do you consider yourself to be high maintenance? Yes, I do. Do you trust easily? <sighs> Unfortunately, yes, but I am trying to get better about it. Do you consider yourself to be an honest person? I try my best to be, but no, I don't. Have you ever told a lie? Yes, I have. Have you ever told a lie to your best friend? Yes, I have. Have you ever lied to your family? Yes. Have you lied about answering uh, answering during the, have you lied about any answers during this session? No. Are you wondering why all these questions have to do with lying? No. This is all very useful information. Are you a people pleaser? Yes I am, unfortunately. Do you enjoy being at the center of attention? I crave it, but I don't enjoy it. I hate it. Uh, do you feel like you've got a good sense of humor? Yeah, I do, actually. Uh, are you frightened easily? Unfortunately, yes. Man, fuck you. What are you doing? No. Well, that was odd. I wonder what that was about. Man, fuck you! It was probably a good place for us to stop and stop the simple segment for our questionnaire and move on to the more gritty questions. This next set of questions will not be yes or no answers. The next portion of our session will be filled with various scenarios that you may, uh, uh, that put you smack dab in the middle of a vital choice making. We'll see how you handle your options and delve deep into each scenario. Remember, the key to all this is to answer honestly. Let's get started. Okay. You're home alone, and it's dark and storming outside. All of a sudden, there's a knock on your bedroom door. Someone's in your house. You do. I have had this. Uh... Not, 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 it was no one there. I just thought I heard a knock, but grab the closest item that can be used as a weapon is what I've done. Very interesting choice. You meet a homeless woman on the street. She asks you for money. You find it within yourself to give all the spare change you have. 
Just as you do, a homeless man ap approaches, asking if you can spare some change. What do you do? Uh, I... I got no change left. There, there's nothing that I can do to change that. Uh... Really, now? Both you... Both your mother and father fall incredibly ill to a life-threatening disease. There's only enough medicine for one... Oh, I already know the answer of this. Uh, uh, give the medical treatment to my dad. Fuck my mom. That doesn't surprise me. It shouldn't! I've been very vocal about how much I hate my mom. Uh, you find a case of money tucked away inside of a dumpster. Inside, there's ten solid gold bars and a vial of mysterious liquid. Under the vial, there's a note that says, Cure for Cancer. What do you do? Now... I'm not saying I'm not greedy, but I there has to be a reason that there's gold in there. So, uh, uh, turn the case into professional entity so they can utilize it. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that that seems like the best. Well, wasted opportunity. Hey, man, I don't want to be the guy that goes down in history for getting rid of the cure for cancer. All right. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't judge. Yeah, that's fucking right. You're stuck alone inside of your house, and you're starving to death. You've completely run out of food, and no one is coming to save you for weeks. The only potential source of food around you is your family pets. What do you do? Uh, continue to starve alongside my pets. Uh... Uh, attempt to cut meat from my pets and shoot there was no no continue to starve along my pets my, they're, they're essentially my friends like my best friends if I had a pet why am I not surprised you shouldn't be I love my dogs when I've had them your neighbor's home is on fire a blaze inferno alongside smoke emits from the windows your screams of help coming from within but you can't see past the flames no one else is around. What do you do? Call the fire department and keep my distance from the home. Start trying to help. Uh, run into the burning building and to try and rescue you can. Or walk away. There's nothing you can do. I would do a combination of call the fire department and probably try and go inside. And thing and it's a kind of a dumb idea to do that. But I always like hero scenarios in my head. Now, if I would actually do it, I'm not sure, but that is that is what I like to do. I want to be a hero. That's how I've always wanted to be. I like that. Well, thank you. You're fast asleep in your bed when you are awoken by what sounds like a woman's muffled cries from somewhere in your room. You quickly rise. It's coming from under your bed. You do. My bed is on the floor. That's impossible. Uh... Immediately look under the bed, hide underneath your covers, and wait patiently. Verbally call out, uh, asking who's in your room. Jump out of the bed and run for... Uh, I would lo immediately look under my bed. I would be very uncomfortable doing so, but that's that's what I do. Hmm. A man in a fancy suit approaches you while walking down the street. He pulls a watch from his pocket and hands it to you. He claims that when the watch stops ticking, it marks the moment your time runs out on this earth. What do you do? Take the watch and thank him for the gift, uh, decline the offer, and for the watch and keep walking? I tell him they needs professional help and keep the distance? I tell him you, only, you, you already got three of them as a toy in your Happy Meal? Uh... <laughs> None of these is what I would do, personally. Uh, you know what? Actually, decline the offer and keep walking is closest to what I do. I'd probably be very uncomfortable and then just kind of walk away. Would you know? Yeah, that's what I would. Sing at home, playing a game on your PC. When all of a sudden, someone grips and squeezes your shoulder for firmly behind. What do you do? Uh, probably immediately not jump up and turn around. Spring around with a vicious elbow and whoever's behind you. That one squeeze harder because you could use a nice massage. Uh, probably jump up and turn around. Not real. I would like turn my head, but eh, yeah. 
Ha. Um, you're sitting in a bathtub, trying to relax. When a hand emerges from the water, what do you do? Uh, jump out of the bathwater and run as fast as you can. Kick the hand to try and keep it away from you. And give it a firm handshake. <laughs> Maybe it even has a solid fist bump. <laughs> Push it into the water and hope you get some free hand tension. <laughs> I'd probably get out of the water as fast as I could. Clever. You get out of bed and immediately fall down into a deep dark hole. A man is sitting above you looking down telling you to put lotion on your skin while he watches. What do you do? Scream for help. Uh... Start slathering yourself in lotion. Tell him you've got very sensitive skin and allergies. Ask him if he will come down and apply lotion. That is the smartest thing to do. But probably won't happen. But, yeah. Smart choice. Right? Thank you. You're sitting at home alone, and all of a sudden your door slams shut. You've seen it before. Your eye... With, before You see it before your very eyes, and you know it was... That no one at home and it could not have been a gust of wind. What do you do? Well, it look, North Dakota is an extremely windy state. I'm sure it's a gust of wind. Uh but uh lock look for a weapon around the room for me, jump up and try to climb out of the window, or run over to the door and open it. Um I I'd probably, if I knew it wasn't the wind, I'd probably grab one of my knives and then investigate. So I guess look for a weapon is the first thing I do. I like that. Someone you've known for many years, but have no attraction to, tells you that they have have a massive crush on you for a long time. What do you do? Uh, uh, tell them that you feel dating might ruin your friendship. Tell them you're flyer, but not interested. I, I, yeah, that. Oh, so you're one of those types. I, I'm not gonna lead someone on, fuck off! Your dog starts to randomly bark into the darkness. Dark corner of your living room. Doesn't appear to be anything, but your dog insists on escalating to growling. What do you do? Uh... Oh, do 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 Try to calm down your dog by paying them. Stand and stare at the corner, see if anything moves. Walk up to the corner and extend your hand to feel for anything. Walk out of the room, ignore it entirely. Uh, probably stare at it while trying to... You know what? Calm down, my pet is probably more close. I'm taking note of that. Uh, yeah. You see a massive spider in your room, the size of your hand. What do you do? Uh, try to capture it for science. Burn the entire house down. It's the only way to be safe. Well, I guess we're moving out now. Uh, grab something and s bigger to smash it. Well, I guess I'm relieving. Yeah. Uh, your closest family member tells you that they're a serial killer. What do you do? Them, you don't want to know any more details? Turn it, them into the police. Ask them information so you can help them stay out of trouble. Try and convince them that they need help. Uh, probably tell them that they need help. But that might get me killed, but hey, that's fine. Boop. I see. If you found out that you only had one day left, what would you do? Everyone that I loved and that I loved them and happy and not sad. Do something insane and crazy, anything goes. Uh not tell anyone at all and just as if nothing changed. Spend time I Tell, uh, well, I would, I would, like, hang out with my friends, but not tell them why. Because I don't want them to worry about that on my last day. So, not tell anyone at all and just say, nothing changed. Alright, then. If one of your pets started speaking to you and told you that they've got a drive... They've got a dire warning. That they're going... To, that they were going to die... If you didn't let them eat all the ice cream in the freezer, what would you do? Well, uh, go lay down, go to the mob, you're too high for this. Uh, give them all the ice cream they can handle. <laughs> Probably that one, to be honest. Oh, lovely. 
Follow the sun, you could start hearing other people's thoughts, and the person next to you was thinking about hugging, about mugging you, and stealing your money. What would you do? Uh. Uh, do do do. Uh. P take preemptive action and beat them up first. Tell them you don't think mugging you is a good idea. Get away from them as quickly as possible. Probably that one. Yeah. That sounds reasonable. Best friend comes to you and tells you that they just accidentally killed someone. They don't want to go to prison. What do you do? Uh, help them hide the body, report them to the authorities. Tell them that they're on their own, but you won't rat them out. Try to convince them to turn themselves in. I think I'd help them hide. I'm not, I'm not sure it's wrong, but I think that's what I would do. Yeah. No. Oh. You're driving in your car. You accidentally run someone over. I'm pretty sure that they're okay, but the fact that their head is clearly detached from their body suggests that it's probably just wishful thinking. Uh. Uh. Try hide body. Uh. Drive away. Nobody notices. Turn yourself into authorities. I'd probably turn myself in. God, that'd be fucked. I'm watching you. Okay, thanks. Uh, interesting. How that played out. I think it's time we move on to the next portion of our test. Following questions that shall be asked of you are, would you rather, style questions. Imagine you've got a gun to your head and you absolutely must choose an answer. No matter how uncomfortable that may be. Let's get started, shall we? Would you rather be loved by all or feared by all? Loved by all, honestly. Would you rather never get angry or never get jealous? I would much rather never get jealous and never angry. Would you rather be held high regarding... Reg held in high regard by your parents or by your friends? Uh... I don't, I don't know who, I think, I think I'd rather be have a high regard for my dad than my friends, but I think I already have that, so I'm still going to go with the parents. Would you rather live in space or under the sea? Under the sea. Oh God, fuck space. Would you rather donate your body to science or donate your organs? Uh, to help people who need them. Uh, people who need them. Would you rather go to jail for five years for something you didn't do or get away with something horrible you did but always live in fear of being caught? Five years, honestly. But I'm, I'm innocent and shit. Uh, five years is fine. I, I already live with anxiety. I don't need more. Uh, would you rather work at a horrible job you hate, but retire comfortably in 10 years from now? Or would you rather have your dream job and have to work until the day you die? Honestly, I'd rather work until the day I die. I would get so bored doing nothing. Would you rather every shirt you'll ever wear uh, to be itchy or only be able to use one ply toilet paper honestly i can make one ply work a shirt that's always itchy i would fucking go insane would you rather have skin that changes color depending on your mood or have tattoos that appear on your body that despite uh despite what you that depict what you did yesterday i honestly mood changing skin sounds cool would you rather shit every time you orgasm or orgasm every time you see a dog? What? I'll take orgasm shits for 5,000, Alex. Orgasm when I see a dog. I'd rather... I'd, I, I... I guess orgasm shits is where I'm going. Uh, if your partner switched bodies with you for one... 
If your partner switched bodies with one of your parents and the only way to get them to switch back was to have sex with one of them, would you rather have sex with your partner or your parent in, in your parent's body or have sex with your parent in your partner's body? What the fuck is wrong with you? Or no, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? I think we can go with that one. Just to answer the question. I... I don't have a partner. So this, this is a null and void question for me. Fuck this question, I hate it. Because either way, it's fucked. Uh... I, I think I would do partner in parents' body simply because it's still their brain that's experiencing it. I don't ever want my parent to experience that ever. So, partner in parents' body, I guess. That one had no bearing on your results. I was just curious. Fuck you! <laughs> ah, I think we've answered enough of these types of questions. As I'm sure you would agree. Well, yeah, you're fucking asshole. We're going to end test with a short series of final questions. Giving simple answers. We'll get started now. Of the following options, which number do you like the most? 7, 11, 3, or 46? My favorite number's on there, but I think 7's actually my favorite. Add the following options, which color resonates with you at this exact moment. Black, red, green, or blue? Uh, black. Black always resonates with me the most. Add the following options, which creature are you the least comfortable around? Spiders, snakes, scorpions, dogs. Spiders. I hate spiders. Add the following options, which flavor is your favorite vanilla or mint is my choices i think vanilla is just deep down my favorite but i'm i'm always in the mood for vanilla but the mood for other flavors is above so it's more reliable but i think that makes it my favorite out of the following options which do you personally value the most friends family money freedom uh Friends, because I'm not close with my family, except for my father. Uh, and I, to me, to me, friends have always been more important than family. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, which of the following options uh, could you live without? Friends, family, money, or freedom? I can live without money. Uh, I've been doing it for the past, like, five years. <laughs> It's nice when I have it, but yeah. Out of the following options, which statement is the most accurate? I'm brave, I'm caring, I'm smart, I'm attractive. I think I, out of all those, I'm smart is the most uh, accurate one. Out of the following, which ones are you most afraid of? Living forever, losing my loved ones, dying alone, dying immediately after this is finished. I think dying alone is the one I'm most afraid of. We're almost finished, but I've got one final question for you. Have you ever punched a nun? <laughs> no, I haven't. You really ought to try it sometimes. It really takes the edge off. I'm sure it does. Alright. We're done here. I'm through with you. I'm just going to calculate your results very carefully. I don't want to miss anything important. I'm trying my absolute hardest to judge you right now. I'm trying to keep this as professional as possible. Haha, <laughs> here we go. Based on what you told me, I've come to the conclusion that this is what I personally believe would be in your best entrance. To acknowledge, set in motion, and accomplish in order to climb the ladder to happiness in your life. First and foremost, I'd like to start with a blanket statement that everyone truly needs to hear. Something that is taken for granted far more than anything else in life. Something that is such an incredible, unique, irreplaceable value compared to any other thing on this earth. 
And that, my friends, is the value of time. Time is the most valuable form of currency you will ever hold in life. You can spend time doing it. You can spend time on anyone, doing anything, for any reason. Now, time can be spent, time can be wasted, and time can be taken away. But time can never be refunded. Time can never be earned back. And more time can never be gained. Imagine a bank account with all the money you'll ever get to spend in life. Now, imagine not knowing how much money is in your account. Imagine going to the store one day to purchase something you really need. And the cashier tells you, I'm sorry, but you can't afford that. As a matter of fact, you can never afford anything ever again. We only have so much time, and we have no idea just how much or how little we truly have before our bank account runs dry. And the fact that we get to decide and choose what we spend our time on shows you just how truly special it is when someone spends their time on you. So now that we understand the incredible value of time, I'd like to make a suggestion for you personally on how you think you're best spending your time in order to achieve what you need most at this current stage in your life. Let's see here. Well now, you might just want to be the most pleasant souls to ever walk this earth. Well, okay then. <laughs> the problem is, you've, you're afraid of opening up and showing people the real you. And when I say the real you, I don't mean the you that you that your family and friends know. I mean the you that only someone you could trust with your deepest secrets would ever get to be see. You see, you're actually a pretty amazing individual. But you think people are going to judge you way too harshly if they knew you completely. My advice to you would be open to yourself would be open yourself a bit more and actually show the deepest parts of you more freely even the parts of yourself that you think people would find very unlikable you'll be shocked at just how many people how many others are just are exactly like you but never going to find out unless you take the time to open up to new souls if you can master this little trait and feel more comfortable opening up, then an entirely new world of opportunities will open up to you as well. And I think you'll be very surprised at just how much of a positive impact this can have on your life going forward. I hope this information helps you achieve your goals. Your secret word is reveal. Remember this word, it'll come in handy. Okay, power, reveal, are my secret words so far in this series. I don't like the answers they give me. I don't. I don't like them. But I have, I have, I have paper right here. Why am I looking for... Okay. Uh, well, thank you, Fate, for uh, giving me that insight in how to be happy. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in the comments for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we are currently working on. If you left your secret word for us on the test or the horoscope, uh, we've read your feedback and it's helped us... Uh, construct this project as well as the third installment of the test that we're currently in development don't be afraid this is an opportunity for you to be a part of history this is a chance for you to be a part of something greater be sure not to note your secret word in your comments if you do not wish to be a part of the upcoming project simply do not leave your secret word in your comments and we will not select your name and we appreciate all your comments leave behind 
We always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking part, taking time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you. Uh, and if they aren't yet, it'll all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. One more thing. I greatly appreciate your feedback and support. We read every single review and comment left for us. We love the conspiracy theories behind the great meaning of all this. In the third and final installment of the test series, all will be finally revealed. But not a single person has been able to figure out what this entire experiment is about yet. We look forward to reading your thoughts and feelings and it, as it helps shape what we do and work on the future projects to bring those most, the most emotion out of you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for everything you do, and thank you for playing. And thank you for contributing your secret words to our projects. If you wish to support us further, you would love to f uh, check out the other titles on our the other games sections of the title screen. Oh, well that was nice. I didn't like the ending. I haven't liked the endings of these. Feel free to check out our other titles and support us further. Facing Demons, Test, Test, Final Revelation, Testing Chamber, Advisor, Journey, Theories, Confessions, Horoscope, What the Fuck is Wrong with You, The Art of the Dad Jokes, and many more. Thank you, and we wish you a wonderful day. Till next time, rub a dumb studio. Random. Uh, we've made the list of names of those who have supported a project along the way. Continue to extend the list in titles. Would you like to see them now? Morning. It's quite long. Uh, not right now since we're in streams. Uh, well, thank you for that one. Let's uh, let's uh, hop into the third one now. And uh, let me.